and we are rolling. Hello everyone, this is Sam with Jams Bros here, and today I am back with another LEGO video. This one is a review of my newest custom modular, and this one is actually a corner building. And yeah, you'll find out what that back wall is for sooner or later, so let's just take a look at it. Don't mind the finger as always. Uh, I am sure cameraman problems, you know how they go. So I've actually put all of the sig figs that I was able to create in this one, not just mine. So, yeah, the exterior is, uh, let's just say I've cut some corners with it. I've put these trees here simply because I didn't have enough gray tiles. Same goes for the gardens with the light gray along the sides and those uh, sewers there. The exterior is almost identical on both sides of the building, except as you can see this flower bed has, you know, the pink and purple flowers and this one has the darker yellow flowers. And then there's just a mailbox here. I'm not quite sure what I intended this building to be, but I'm just going to say it's kind of a, I don't know, I guess a larger house and then kind of a smaller house on top of it. Yeah. So this lamp was kind of designed in a weird way. If I can just take it out, it's got some uh, minifigure tool. Just kind of a wrench of some sort. A transparent minifigure head and a black stud, and it all fits onto that Technic piece right there. And if I can just stick it on real quick. Hold on. I'm going to need both hands for this. I'm just going to balance the roof with this one. There we go. I needed to hold on to the set so it wouldn't jump while I tried to put the piece on. So, yeah. Here we have bricks all over, uh, just kind of picking flowers. And uh, yeah, on the other side of the exterior we have pumpkin bricks, and it looks like he's trying to climb those sewage drains uh, there. And I've got just a, whoops, a nozzle there. Looks like I've lost it though. And a grate for the water to spill into. And then just a door. This door is not very well designed. It rotates when it feels like rotating. And, uh, but it's, it's meant to just open up regularly like a standard door. And the knob is one of those cupcake pieces that comes in like the flat titanium color that Lego's been using for the newest modulars. I find it kind of silly, but hey, why not? So yeah, just a couple steps leading into there. And let's just spin it around over to the interior. So yeah, there are a few floors to the interior. Both sides have two pegs that will attach to other modulars. There's the white one connected to the white wall and the brown one connected to the brown floor. And uh, there's a bunch of sig figs in here. There's mine back there serving drinks. There's Thomas bricks, there's down under bricks, if I can just get the zoom right. There's bricks for Chris in his new suit. Not sure how well you can see that. I might have gotten the torso wrong. And everyone's listening to a fall man and his beautiful piano playing on this beautiful piano. Yeah, basically I just put a bunch of random pieces together and called it a piano. I think it looks, you know, semi-accurate. The color scheme's kind of weird, but I like it. And then, yeah, Bricks for Chris is sitting on just a brick-built couch. And there's a plate there and a couple more chairs. And the kitchen is pretty simple. I didn't bother putting any appliances in. And goodness, there's not a lot of light here, is there? So there's a, there's a gate there. I don't know how well you can see it. I'll just show you. So the entrance is actually four studs wide, which equals, you know, pretty much exactly two of these brick-built gates, which are really just hinges. And then I just kind of felt like building a place to put a suitcase. So that can just go there. Now, you may be wondering, what's this back, uh, back here? 
So this is because when you make a corner modular, you should have this much filled in. Otherwise, you'll see into the interior when you look at the back of the modulars. If you have, if you're placing this in like a city, and the other uh, sets have uh, back that is filled in, and um, looks like there's kind of a heist going on at the moment. Yeah, this porch doesn't really work. It doesn't lead anywhere. I just felt like making it. This wall has a lot of texture. I tried to make it kind of as old looking as possible. I found a bunch of old bricks that I'd put stickers on when I was like six, and, and the stickers had never quite rubbed off. And I thought I was gonna, I thought it'd be a good idea to go clean them, but I decided not to because they'd be perfect for the wall and give it a nice rundown look. And it looks like they've already got one suitcase and they're going for the other one in here. Oops, I almost knocked one over there. So the second floor is very simple. Yeah, I'm just gonna get this wall out of the way real quick. Oh yeah, and there is a small, you know, basic fireplace in there. It's nothing that uh, can't be built by just about anyone. I mean, I'd say pretty much anyone can build something like this. So, this part of the house. So this entire thing is kind of an old, rusty, worn down look. I think that'd be good for my war-torn uh, city. So we've got a shelf in there that is hard to see when it's in the building because of the lighting. And then just a simple bed there. Some stairs, and as you can see there's pumpkin bricks again. Trying to get through that window. And on this side, there's just a plant and a door leading to the porch. And we've got... Whoops. And I've dropped him. Look at me go. We've got building with data. I haven't got a Riley minifigure. I can't find the right torso or hair. So, goodness me. Yep. So I said this door leads to the porch. And I wasn't kidding. So let's just... Get a view of the porch real quick. So yeah, I like the look of this uh, window set up here. The door and the small windows on the side. I like the look of that. The porch juts out a stud from the rest of the building. And it's got some of these black fences. And there's TMX brick notes. Trying to stop Watermelon Studios. It's got that nice newer Phase 1 clone helmet. Uh, yeah. Martin's trying to stop Watermelon Studios from climbing a little ladder here that takes you up to the second floor of the balcony, which unfortunately is inaccessible otherwise. So back over here on the third floor, there's really nothing but just a grandfather clock. A poorly designed one at that, but it was the best I could do. And by trying to put the wall on, I've gotten something stuck back there. Alright. Despite all the technical difficulties we've faced, I think... There we go, that makes everything. So, I think that'll be all for now. Thank you guys so much, as always, for watching. And until next time, this is Gems, signing off. Stay classy.